Hey groovy guys and gals, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And this time we're going to be demonstrating a unit uh, for a 69 Charger. Uh, now this, uh, this is a customer who's paying for someone else. Uh, as a Christmas present, that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, so this is uh, your typical 69 Charger AM 8-track. Uh, this customer has requested the unit be repaired to original stock, uh, which is fine, uh, but it won't give you uh, FM, and it won't give you increased output power, and it won't give the 8-track that bright, crisp, jump-out-at-you type sound that I can do with a conversion. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and turn this unit on. I've got it set. Well, it's, it's all it's always set to AM because it's just an AM radio. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I've got it tuned to the one strong station I get in my area. Chance of showers overnight, mostly cloudy with a low around 36. Your K Q and A weather. Okay, and we'll just go to the speaker outputs. Make sure the balance balance to the right, balance to the left. Right, left, okay, tone control, okay, let's go ahead and tune in, uh, I get two very weak stations near this end of the dial, so we'll just go ahead and try to tune those in. Okay, there's one of the weak stations. And there's the other one. So let's go back to the strong station. Human life. When we see the okay. image of a baby in the womb. I think we know who that singer is. Okay, let's try the A-track. Now, one thing I'll say is most of the jobs I do, probably 95% of all jobs I do on car radios uh, with an A-track uh, is a conversion job, which means I take out the old crappy sounding preamp, I go in with my bright sounding jump at you, jump out at you type preamp, uh, and the power amplifier is also much more powerful. So this unit has kind of a worn head and the A-track is going to sound a little bit dull. Um, without my preamp, uh, it could use a new head, but a new head's not going to really change the sound all that terribly much on an original equipment job. Uh, it, a head's really going to do you a lot of good if we're doing a conversion on it, because that way I can go back in and put my own preamp in there, which I've designed to bring out the brightness that's lost on 8-track tapes over the years. So that being said, let's go ahead and pop in this 8-track and make sure that it at least works. Got some Neil Sedaka here. Now another thing I'll say is I've got this going through a foam surround speakers. The original car speakers are probably going to sound a little bit brighter because they're a lot more efficient and they're not going to reproduce that bass. So let's go ahead and change tracks a bunch of times. Pull the tape out, and the radio comes back, and that concludes the test. Uh, everything is working as it was designed to. Um, I do recap the preamp when I, re you know, when I do a, a standard equipment repair job. And to be honest with you, I'm probably not going to be offering this for very much longer because after listening to my conversion jobs and the way I can make the eight track sound, uh, when I do a radio to original sock. It just always sounds like there's a little something wrong with it that could be made better. Of course, uh, this customer uh, didn't uh, opt to go with the uh, with the uh, you know best possible performance package. He wanted it repaired to original stock, so that's what we did. And so uh, that being stated, I'm out of here, and I'm Barry with Barry's Eight Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And uh, this is a radio that was repaired to original stock. It is not indicative of what I'm able to do with your Eight Track. This is what the customer requested. Uh, a new head would make some improvement, but without without doing a conversion um, I wouldn't consider that improvement you know overly significant as far as how it's going to sound on your car so uh, thanks for watching and listening and thank you uh, Rick for your business from let's see uh, 
from Mead, Washington, so it's not going all that far from Arizona. Uh, thanks again for watching, listening. My phone number and website are in the description below. I do ask all customers to visit my website before calling me with a bunch of uh, preliminary questions because that's what the website's for. You get your information from the website, then you call me to make sure you can trust me and that I'm a good guy. That's how it works. Thanks for watching, listening, guys. We'll see you next time.